Y'all seem to love our end of the world videos, and I gotta say, I'm a little concerned, but we give the people what they want. Hello everyone, and welcome back to our channel. I'm your host, Emily, and today we're counting down part two of our list of the top 10 dark end of the world predictions for 2024. Coming in at number 10 is a pandemic. Luke Kemp, a research associate at the Center for the Existential Risk at the University of Cambridge, says the end of humanity is far more likely to be brought about by multiple factors, a pileup of disasters. But one of those huge disasters could be another pandemic. Though apocalyptic movies often turn to viruses, bacteria, and fungi to wipe out huge swaths of the population, a pandemic alone is unlikely to drive humanity to extinction simply because the immune system is a broad and effective defense, says Amish Adalja, an infectious disease physician at the John Hopkins Center for Health Security. A pandemic could be devastating and lead to severe and upheal. The Black Death killed 30-50% to 50 of the population of Europe, but it is unlikely that a pathogen would kill all of humanity, Amesh says. Yes, an infectious disease could kill a lot of people, he says, but then you're going to have a group of people that are resilient to it and survive. Humans also have the tools to fight back against against a pathogen, from medical treatments to vaccines to social distancing measures that became familiar worldwide during the COVID pandemic, Al just says. Now, if infectious disease contributes to the downfall of humanity, it's likely to be just one piece of a larger puzzle. But my god, I don't want to go through another pandemic again. Number 9. Issues with the Large Hadron Collider Scientists use the Large Hadron Collider, LHC, in Switzerland to set up controlled collisions of particles at very high high speeds. Now, most astronomers believe that dark matter accounts for 85% of all mass in the universe, and that its existence would explain the apparent extra gravity detectable around galaxies and within huge galaxy clusters. However, so far, no one has been able to identify what dark matter is made of. Until recently, the front runner suspect had been a breed of particle called WIMP, which is an acronym for Weakly Interacting Massive Particles. These theoretical particles are thought to barely interact with normal matter, except when it comes to gravity. However, the LHC, the world's largest and most powerful particle accelerator, has failed to turn up evidence for the existence of WIMPs. But if they do find them though, what does it mean? Now, These experiments have caused some to believe that energy set free by the collisions will form a black hole powerful enough to consume Earth and life on it. Now, No such black hole has been cited yet, and several high-profile studies have concluded that no such dangers are associated with the experiments conducted at the LHC, but who knows what could happen in the future. Number 8. Turn off the computer. You've heard the theory that we all live in a simulation, right? The simulation theory, first proposed in 2001 by Oxford philosopher Nick Bostrom, has recently spread across the app TikTok after TikToker Heidi Wong posted a video that introduced the hypothesis and argued that we're more likely to live in a simulation than reality, citing recent advances in video game graphics as evidence. Out of all these simulations, there's only one base reality, so statistically, we're more likely to be in a simulation, Wong argued. Basically, we are living inside a video game, said TikToker Nikki Jane. Honestly, this does make sense if you think about how realistic video games are getting day by day, and all the little glitches you see in the world are so unexplainable and it would make sense behind this theory. So do we live in a simulation? What if one day the creator decides, eh, I've had enough, and shuts down the computer? Then we would cease to exist. Number 7. Mass Insanity While physical health has improved in most parts of the world over the past century, mental health is getting worse. The World Health Organization estimates that 500 million people around the world suffer from a psychological disorder. Gregory Stock, a biophysicist at the University of California in Los Angeles, believes medical science will soon allow people to live to be 200 years or older. If such an extended lifespan becomes common, it will pose unfathomable social and psychological challenges. Increasing human lifespans may actually intensify the problem because people have more years to experience the loneliness and infirmity of old age. Now, Americans over 65 are already disproportionately likely to end their own life, and perhaps 200 years of life will overload the human brain, leading to a new kind of insanity we haven't seen before. Number 6. Collapse of the Vacuum In the book Cat's Cradle, Kurt Von Nutt popularized the idea of Ice-9, a form of water that is far more stable than the ordinary kind, so it is solid at room temperature. Unleash a bit of it and suddenly all water on Earth transforms 
bonds to Ice-9 and freezes solid. Ice-9 was a satirical invention, but an abrupt disastrous phase transition is a possibility. Very early in the history of the universe, according to a leading cosmological model, empty space was full of energy. This state of affairs, called a false vacuum, was highly precarious. A new, more stable kind of vacuum appeared, and like Ice-9, it quickly took over. This transition unleashed a tremendous amount of energy and caused a brief runaway expansion of the cosmos. It is possible that another, even more stable kind of vacuum exists, however. As the universe expands and cools, tiny bubbles of this new kind of vacuum might appear and spread at nearly the speed of light. The laws of physics would change in their wake, and a blast of energy would dash everything to bits. Number 5. Environmental Toxins From all over the world, modern history is filled with frightening examples of the dangers of industrial pollutants. But the poisoning continues. In major cities around the world, the air is thick with diesel particulates, which the National Institutes of Health now considers as something that may increase your risk of cancer. Heavy metals from industrial smokestacks circle the globe, even settling in the snows of Antarctica. Intensive use of pesticides in farming guarantees runoff into rivers and lakes, and in high doses, dioxins can disrupt fetal development and impair reproductive function. And dioxins are everywhere. Every year, NIH adds to its list of cancer-causing substances, and the number is up to 218. So just be cautious of what you're breathing in. Number 4. Solar Geoengineering There's a dramatic option for stopping or even reversing rising global temperatures, but it becomes with a significant possible risk. Solar geoengineering would reflect light and heat away from Earth and back into space by injecting aerosols into the stratosphere the second layer of Earth's atmosphere. Now for now, it only exists in computer models, but the first experiment is being planned by Harvard researchers. Solar geoengineering is one of the two emerging technologies that could manipulate the atmosphere and reduce climate risk. Now the other is directly removing carbon dioxide from the atmosphere, which doesn't currently exist on a big enough scale. If solar geoengineering were deployed, it would affect the entire atmosphere and be humanity's largest ever global endeavor. While it is the only known technique that could stop rising and temperatures, there's still a lot we don't know, including whether it could destabilize local and global climate or ecosystems. Manipulation on the scale without understanding the effects could turn out to be catastrophic for the human race, and I didn't even know that this was a possibility, but I think we should not mess with the sun. Number 3. Biological and Chemical Warfare Unlike nuclear weapons, which require complex engineering, biological and chemical warfare can be developed at a relatively low cost and with relatively attainable materials. The Syrian government has used chemical weapons in the civil war that has ravaged the country. These chemical attacks using sarin and chlorine have appalled the international community and underscored the damage chemical weapons can do. Weaponized toxic materials could do tremendous harm to the localized target, say if the toxins were released into the air or into the water supply. Biological weapons represent a greater catastrophic threat, as advances in synthetic biology have made very real the possibility of malicious people creating harmful pathogens for weaponization or innocent researchers accidentally releasing a lethal infectious bug into the world. Number 2. The Big Rip In physical cosmology, the Big Rip is a hypothetical cosmological model concerning the ultimate fate of the universe, in which the matter of the universe, from stars and galaxies to atoms and subatomic particles, and even spacetime itself, is progressively torn apart by the expansion of the universe at a certain time in the future, until distances between particles particles will infinitely increase. According to the standard model of cosmology, the scale factor of the universe is accelerating, and in the future era of cosmological constant dominance, will increase exponentially. The truth of the hypothesis relies on the type of dark energy present in our universe. The type that could prove this hypothesis is a constantly increasing form of dark energy known as phantom energy. If the dark energy in the universe increases without limit, it could overcome all forces that hold the universe together, and that is just just terrifying. And coming at number one is zombies. Listen, there's no proof that a zombie apocalypse could be on the horizon, but anything can happen in this crazy world. Some illnesses mirror the traits of zombies, such as rabies and leprosy, which could mean we may end up having a zombie variant on our hands. Scientists have researched whether there is a virus that could 
cause an apocalypse, but none have had a breakthrough. You would need a highly transmissible disease that causes specific effects inside the brain, destroying inhibitions and higher thought, increased aggression, and huge bursts of adrenaline, among other things. Now, it would have to turn thinking humans into ultra-aggressive, instinctual animals. Bites and body fluids couldn't be the only means of infection, as the disease would have to be waterborne and semi-airborne near concentrations of infection from their breathing. Something that only transmits through direct contact would never spread fast enough to cause some kind of apocalypse scenario, but like I said, anything could happen. Well, that's all for part two of our list of the top 10 dark end of the world predictions for 2024. Do you think any of these predictions will come true? Let us know in the comments down below, and don't forget to like and subscribe to our channel. I'm your host, Emily, and we'll see you next time. Peace.